Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts right off the bat on today's show. Honda releases official pricing for the brand new Civic Type R. Now this is just European pricing that has actually been announced as of yet. But if you were planning on getting one of these 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder monsters making just a touch over 300 horsepower just shy of 300 pounds feet of torque shifted exclusively through a 6 speed manual gearbox know exactly how many pennies you're going to have to save up. This vehicle has a starting price of 30,995 pounds sterling. That's for the standard Type R. Now, if you want the GT version, it will cost you an extra 2,000 pounds. And this vehicle will be available in European dealerships this summer. Next up on the list, BMW is teasing their brand new Grand Coupe, the 8 Series Coupe. We don't have very much time to learn all we need to know about this machine as a concept version of this machine will debut on May 26th of 2017, so just a couple of weeks' time. And we'll know a whole lot more about this massively grand coupe, so we'll definitely keep you in tune when we hear about this machine. Next up on the list, well, we can't get a week go by without talking about a Nürburgring Norschleife Loop lap record. And this one involves an overall lap record. The folks over at NEO took their EP9 all-electric supercar over to the Norschleife Loop about a year ago and ran just a touch over seven minutes. In fact, seven minutes and five seconds and some change, which put it down there in some real rarefied air. Now, Neo claimed that they had got this vehicle a little bit on the soft side this setup-wise because they were concerned about a couple of odds and ends about the machine, but they turned it up, and this vehicle say it laid down a lap big time, six seconds quicker than the fastest car around the North Life Loop, that being the Lamborghini, Hurricane Performante, this vehicle did a 6 minute 45.9 second lap, which is a pretty massive deal. Now, there's always that argument that this is the fastest production car on the planet, but technically Neo has only built six of these things, and they're only going to build about four more of them, at least for this particular cycle go round. So you can make all the arguments you want that it may not be a production car, but how many vehicles do you have to build to actually make it a production car is always. An interesting question as well. If you would like to own one of these machines, Neo's only asking $1.48 million for each one of the copies of these vehicles. Next up on the list, a Porsche celebrating a milestone. Back in 1963, the first ever 911 rolled off the factory floor. Here we are in 2017, and the one millionth 911 has now rolled off that same factory floor. Now this vehicle comes with a lot of special features that harken back to that first one, including a lot of touches that are identical to the first one, this Irish green paint, along with the hound's tooth inlays on the seat, and half the steering wheel is actually real wood, which is pretty slick as well. Now if you were hoping to get your grubby little mitts on the one millionth Porsche to come off the assembly line, Eh, sadly, you can't ever own this machine unless you really throw down a check that Porsche couldn't actually turn down because Porsche is actually going to use this as a piece. They're going to sh ship it around all over the world doing a bunch of special events till it gets back to its spiritual home and its arduous life of being a model sitting there right there on their museum floor. So this vehicle will never ever see the light of day as far as an actual person owning it. First, you think back that one millionth Corvette actually got swallowed up in the Corvette Museum several years ago in that sinkhole. So maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea if this went into actual customers' hands. But I think Porsche is doing the right thing. You need to keep this thing for posterity. The one millionth 911. Man, no wonder you see 911s all over the place. Next up on the list, let's talk about Antonio Banderas. Yeah, I know you're probably thinking, what? Wait, what? What? Well, we got another Italian supercar biopic film in the works, and it's going to involve Mr. Banderas. Tony Banderas has been tabbed to play Ferruccio Lamborghini in a Lamborghini biopic. They've actually already tabbed Alec Baldwin to play his arch rival in the film, Enzo Ferrari. Now, the Enzo Ferrari biopic has been talked about over the past couple of years. In fact, a couple of actors have actually been tabbed to be that particular guy, one of them being Robert De Niro. But for whatever reason, 
those films actually never got off the ground and never went into actual production, at least as of yet. Apparently, this particular film is very close because they're already talking about filming this in Italy in the summer of 2017 with a possibility of this film, and this is just me talking, of having a 2018 release date. But we'll have to wait and see on that front. So I think this could be a great film. Get to see the old tractor builder turn supercar builder. Would be a pretty doggone interesting film, especially because there's already been a couple, three Enzo Ferrari biopics, but I don't know if there's ever been one on Ferricio Lamborghini. And last up on the list, yes, we're going to talk a little bit more about Top Gear, the Top Gear USA version, or Top Gear America, that's going to be debuting on BBC America this summer, is going to be filming this week, that being May 15th, 16th, and 17th. I've already checked on applausestore.com, and they still have tickets available for those events on all three of those days. So if you want to see the filming of this particular deal, you can actually go over to applausestore.com, get your free tickets, and if you put in the promo code SAHR or SAR, you can actually get a little bit of VIP treatment as well. As they say, they're going to treat you right if you put in that particular promo code. So if you're anywhere around the Las Vegas, Nevada area, and you want to check out the actual studio taping of the brand new Top Gear America, the applausestore.com and us here at Motorcars have got your back. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motorcars Enthusiasts. Don't forget to like us over on the Facebook page. The link's down in the show notes. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time and get the first dibs on the brand new shows as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.